Hey there, welcome to Before Your Cruise by No Pants Profits. We are here right outside of the Fort Lauderdale cruise port at a place called Dania Point. There's everything here. There's Kirsten hasn't even seen the whole thing yet. There's a bowling alley. There are hotels. There are loud ass trucks with music and everything like that. But there's also, I call it the Ale House for women. Do you know Ale House? Yes. You've been to Ale House Port? There was actually, I, mean, I think we showed a picture of ourselves in Ale House uh, a while ago. This is Kirsten, my friend, for about 20 years from college. And I'm taking her to the female equivalent of Ale House. It's called Cooper's Hop. Now, can you come here and have a nice dinner? Yeah, you can. Can you come here and have a nice lunch? Yeah, you can. Can you come here and have a nice happy hour snack? Yeah, you can. But you know what time it is right now, Kirsten? Wine 30. It's wine o'clock, but that was close. That was close. We didn't rehearse this, you see. So we are going to do a wine tasting. It's about between $15 and $20 if you want to come over here. You basically get the equivalent of two big glasses of wine just in little cups. You know why you put it in little cups? So you don't drink so much. Well, you're going to drink two full glasses of wine. You don't put it, you put it in little cups because it's classy, mm. right? So we put it in little cups because it's classy. So come with Richard and Kirsten. I was going to let her introduce herself, but I said, it's not working right. Come to Richard and Kirsten to Cooper's Hawk, which they don't actually, so they make the wine, but they don't grow the grapes. Let's be very clear. They buy their grapes and then they blend the grapes together and they make their own wine, but they have like 70 different types of wine, winter wines, summer wines, everything like that. So we're going to jump in. We are going to do a tasting. I myself am, Kirsten, do you ever read those uh, dirty adult novels? Not really. I'm a member here. Okay. You know, they use member for other, you don't read those dirty adult novels. She took his member. Uh -huh. So Kirsten is now going to take her member and get some free wine tasting in Cooper's Hall. Yeah, I just went there. All right, so we are inside. If you are planning to have uh, lunch or dinner here, you definitely want to have a reservation. Because around those times it crowds up. If you're coming happy hour time, we said wine o'clock facetiously, but it's about two o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. Relatively simple to walk in. They've got three different types of tastings. We're gonna do one and one, but can we hold on to that just for a minute? Oh yeah, please, please, yeah. Because this is our dishwasher, Yeah, we don't want to be in front of the dishwasher. No. Uh, we're making room. So you've got three different wine tastings you can do. You can do the sweet. You can do a variety, which is, uh, I guess, what would you call that as a variety? <laughs> and you can, or, or you can do the lux. So uh, the tasting is uh, $12 for these two, the ones that are not black, and the lux is $17. Um, the lux does come with a chocolate truffle, but for a dollar, you can get a chocolate truffle with either of these two. I think we have decided I'm going to do the sweet, and I'm going to do the variety. You're going to get a chocolate truffle with it? I, I guess I should. I guess you have to. So um, we've got raspberry sparkling, Rieslings, Grateful White, which I guess is the Grateful Dead. I'm not sure. Uh, winter White, oh well, my favorite. Uh, white Sangria, Winter Red, Cranberry, Vin Chocolate Noir. You'll, I'm going to let you taste some, like I know these already. Um, Blanc de Blanc, Pinot Gris, Grateful White, Grateful Red, uh, Barbaria? Barbara? Barbara Ann? Ba, 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 Barbara Ann. Close. Uh, Super Tuscan, Winter White, and Cranberry. You know what it's time to do? It's time. To taste some wine? To taste some wine. Let's get our first pour and we'll be right back with you. So we've got our first wine. This is a raspberry sparkling. And what's cool is, like on here, it'll tell you sweetness and tannin and umami and body and alcohol and everything like that. So this is raspberry sparkling. And mine is Blanc de Blanc off of the variety tasting menu. Does that mean white on white? Probably. I think Blanc is just, Blanco is white, right? My Espanol un pequeño. What do you this, think? This is easy to drink. You're going to find, here's the thing. Cooper's Hawk is designed for a very female ale house palate. There's nothing here that is not easy to drink. Honestly, the hardest to drink stuff and I say this lovingly, I don't say this out of hate. The hardest drink to, stuff, to drink stuff is gonna be on their Lux menu, because they've got like some drier reds and stuff like that. Those are harder to drink. Everything that's on yours in my menu, it's 
pretty delicious, pretty easy to drink, and sneaks up on you, it comes up behind you, goes ah! So, uh, be aware of that. But again, this is like, I was telling Kirsten, she, she's gonna steal some more of my wine. Um, this is like half a mile from the Fort Lauderdale cruise port, about a mile from the Fort Lauderdale airport. So, if you're looking for something to do before, or maybe after your cruise, it's in Dania Point, great place to stop by. And look, if you want to extend it out even more, let's say you don't have a car, just want to stop here before after your cruise, you can see a movie, you can do wine, you can do that all in one place. Plus, that movie theater, there's a movie theater like on the other side of that wall, has a liquor license, mm -hmm. so. It was a really impressive theater, it was huge. It's Regal's newest theater in the country. They even have something called, we're not doing a movie theater review, but I'll tell you about it. Uh, they even have something called VIP, which I do sometimes when I'm feeling lazy. Uh, I have a membership to the Regal Theater, so I can go as many times as I want for free a month, but you have to pay for premium formats. Their VIP, you pay like $8, and you get all you can eat, popcorn, icy, stuff like that while you're in those theaters. It's a theater inside a theater concept. So it's kind of like the, the ship, cruise ships inside it, cruise ships. It's the yacht club of, of the movie theaters. The yacht club, the retreat, the whatever, the, the, what do they call Havana, it on Norwegian? Um, Norwegian as the Haven. Haven, yes. The Haven, it's, it's like that, but inside of a movie theater. You've probably never experienced something like that, but nope. it's a kind of a cool thing, something Regal's rolling out around the country slowly as they get a chance. But a good one for number one. We'll move on to number two. All right, so uh, you've got a Pinot Gris, CO? You know, it says Pinot Gris. Where's the EO? That's, uh, that's the captain, right? Just captain the, EO? That's, <laughs> a, that's an old reference. No, it's not. Like, it was in Epcot like five years ago when Michael Jackson died. Yeah, but it's been closed for what, like 15 years? Hee <laughs> hee. I mean, Macaulay Culkin was on Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune like yesterday. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Saw some weird ass thing. I don't remember if it was Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune, but it's one of them. Macaulay Culkin was on. But um, you got that. Uh, let's try them real quick. I like Rieslings. Mm. I don't love this Riesling. I and mean, that's why this is a tasting, not a commitment. That's also why I have never gotten married. Congratulations. First one's on number two. What? That you know of. No, no, no. The hell you... She thought I was talking about her marriage. Whoa. We're on drink number two. Whoa. We're on drink number two. What are you implying And it's fruity. Here? This is a fruity drink. I have now that's like marriage Gris. number one. Was he fruity? No. And this has peach, orange, white flowers, and yellow apple. And it definitely tastes fruity. And what does my Riesling have in it? It's got some apple. It's got some lime, green apple, honey, and white flowers. So I would think that this one would probably have a oh, little bit more it, bite. You? I'm sorry. <laughs> that's very easy to drink. I mean, there's nothing here that's hard to drink. Although, I will tell you, um, let's say you don't like a wine or, you know, we both have like the same wine on our sheet once and Kirsten likes Malbecs. So she wanted to try a Malbec. Um, so they were able to swap out one of the wines that we had for a Malbec so she could try the Malbec, which is kind of cool, right? Yeah. So we're on wine number two, husband number two. Wait, that's it all about? I don't know. Uh, we ran a Ren Fest earlier. The beer might be talking, the mead might be talking, the honey from the magic bees that might be talking. That was some strong mead. That was some strong mead. That was just not a good place to film there. That's an, It's only here for three weeks of the year, so it's really not worth making a perpetual video on the last day of the Renaissance Festival. But Cooper's Hawk is open 365 days a year. So uh, come here for a tasting. We're going on to number three next. All right, so for the next two wines, we have duets. Those are things that go well together. Like the two colors in your hair, maybe? Yeah. Are there only two colors? No, there's three or four. There's three or four colors. Um, so these are duets. These are sets of wine that go well together, like the Grateful White and the Grateful Red, which I think are both takes on the Grateful Dead. They could be, but they also have Grateful in the name because it's Thanksgiving time and this is their special Thanksgiving wines. So, Grateful. And then I've got the uh, Grateful White and the Winter White. So, um, I'll tell you, this is my favorite. I want you to try this one first. This is the Winter White. This is something I always tell people. 
here's the cool thing. I'm going to mention this again at the end, people who don't recognize, um, that if you're going on a cruise, you can bring two bottles of wine, well, one bottle of wine per adult on the cruise with you. Drink it in your cabin, drink it in your bathtub, drink it in the hot tub. This Ooh, is very good, and it does seem to have like a holiday taste to it. I don't know how they did it. Oh, wait until you try the red. The winter red is even better. Uh, but I bring on one winter. I've, I've, every cruise I've been on. Oh, me. Uh, every cruise I've been on in the past few months that I've planned it out, I brought on one winter white and one winter red. I always have a drink package. I never wind up drinking it. So the people I actually like on the ship the most, I give them a winter white and a winter red. And I tell them who each other are. And I say they have to share. Uh, like I'm like, oh, I gave it to this person, this person. You guys got to get together and share. I'm playing matchmaker with this wine. But yeah, remember that, you know, if you come here, you do the tasting, you can get bottles of wine and you can bring those bottles of wine on the ship because you can't really fly with them unless they're in your checked luggage. Come over here, get you some bottles of wine. It's a great place to come. Say the line. Pre-cruise. Pre-cruise is not before your cruise. Before it's a great place cruise. to come. She'll learn that one soon, soon enough. <laughs> Y'all will see why that are watching this video. Um, and what did you get? So I uh, g give these a try. This one's good. Go ahead and try yours. You know, I'm not sure which is which. Which one was on the left? Uh, this was on the left. So that is going to be the Barbera. Okay. And then the Grateful Red on your right. Okay, so I'll do Grateful Red first. <laughs> we, we changed the order a little bit. So that Kirsten can try the, uh, what's the one you like? Malbec. Malbec. <coughs> <coughs> if you like red wine, you will love this. The flavors in this are cranberry, red cherry, raspberry, strawberry, and spices. It pairs well with Thanksgiving dinner, and I can see how it would. Yeah? Yes. So you think this one, the white, it's more Christmassy. And the red is more Thanksgiving-y? Yeah. Can you taste the stuffing? Let me try the Grateful Red. I just felt for a moment like I was on a cruise ship. Oh, yeah. I don't like red. Yeah. But I can see how this will work with the tannin and the turkey and stuff like that. That's interesting. And then the other one you got is uh, Captain Barbosa? Barbera. Hanna Barbera. This one is red plum, blueberry, red cherry, leather, and spices. It simply tastes like leather. That one's actually a little bit easier to drink I than the Grateful Red. On its own. Yeah. I think the Grateful Red will work with the, the tannin and the turkey. The Grateful Red and might the, actually um, uh, help with there. The Barbera is meant for lighter meat dishes tomato sauces and to pair with pizza. Does it really say that there? Yes. Yeah, so just so you can kind of see. It's legitimately on that uh, menu there. It tells you what you can pair it with and everything like that. And we got one more to try. Um, you've had the Grateful Red. This is the Grateful White. We haven't tried this yet. It smells sweeter. Yeah, this is kind of a pumpkin pie dish. And this one is also meant to pair with Thanksgiving. The other white that we just did, though, the winter white, the one that actually tastes Christmassy, they're suggesting to pair that with gingerbread. Oh, yeah. Super easy to drink. And this one includes green apple, Meyer lemon, rose petals, peach, and lychee. Leek, oh. That was a good martini on the on the celebrity ship, wasn't it? That was that was like her favorite. But then we rose shampooed and rock paper scissors for it. If you haven't caught the martini bar video from the celebrity reflection yet, you definitely want to catch that video. And the sunset video, that was a very beautiful one. Too. That was beautiful. But it's not relevant to what we're talking about. Oh yes. You're supposed to point people things to relevant. This one's new to the YouTube world. I'm not hating on it, but you're supposed to point to your content that's already out. That's relevant to the discussion. Yes, the sunset bar was pretty. If we had a sunset going behind us right now. Drinking is drinking. Drinking is drinking. I'm not an alcoholic. You know why? Because I have balance in my life. What's my balance in my life? A cup in each hand. And we only have one girl here. 
I'm leaving that there. Uh, so we have uh, four more wines. We're halfway through when we finish these. Oh, oh, I have one more thing I want to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing. The thing that didn't eat. When I go certain places, there are little things that I look for to just signal a little bit more quality. Oh, I was going to stop you when you said little things that I look for. I was like, I must qualify. For example, on a cruise ship, I always want to know at breakfast, are they serving orange drink or orange juice? And Is there a an orange myself. drink and orange drink? What? I don't know. I'm asking you. Orange drink is not orange juice, and orange juice is orange juice. So here, one of the things I would look for is a purse hook. And sure enough, there are purse hooks. Where? Show us the purse hook. And that is a uh, Donnie and Burke purse? Yeah, uh, from Haunted Mansion, where I used to work. From Haunted Mansion? Yeah, That's Kirsten, what brought me to Florida. Kirsten, Kirsten at, at a time in her life, Kirsten made a dumb decision to wear multiple, multiple layers of clothing in 100 degree plus weather outside, right? Or does it let you take some of it off? When you... I, I think it was wool. Yeah. But it was like a couple layers of wool, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was like, like the summer's when it's like 110 degrees outside. But you rotate every hour, rotate position. But you still have to wear wool outside. Correct? I dealt with it pretty well. I could go strolling on the sun. Strolling on the sun. Is it like walking on the sun? You might as well. Go walking on the sun. Thank God. I'm a bad singer. Okay. We got a couple more drinks. We'll see you in a minute. All right. So we've got our next wines, and Kirsten is double fisting. Let's give him an order. Um, she's got the Super Tuscan and a Malbec. So we switched out one of your wines for another wine. Um, so she's got a Super Tuscan and a Malbec, and I have... Which is which? Okay, she kept it in order. Which one's the Super Tuscan and which one's the Malbec? Do you remember? Super Tuscan Malbec. Okay, perfect. Okay. So Super Tuscan, uh, let, me read the, Malbec. let me read the notes on the Super Tuscan. Uh, it's got a lot of tannin. That's the stuff in red wine that makes it taste like red wine. Uh, little sweetness. Not, not a great amount of sweetness. Uh, a lot of body, though. It's like me. It's got a big so body. So the flavors are black cherry, star anise, which is the same flavor as licorice. Yeah. Black licorice. I don't really like that, but I have a feeling I'll like this. Uh, blueberry leather. I haven't really seen leather listed as a flavor before. Yeah, we did. You, and you, then you, herbs. Said, you said leather like 20 minutes ago. Oh, on the Barbera? Yeah. Okay. So this is the second time that I've had leather listed for a drink. Here, hold on. Hold on, Chris. Taste it first. It smells great. Oh, geez. What are you doing with your apparently leather belt? Oh, no, it's leather. I'm just going to add some flavor. Oh. So what do I have? I have a white sangria, passion fruit, apricot, tangerine, yellow apple, pineapple. But Kirsten, what's it missing? Mm, coconut? Leather? Oh, geez. You always find a way to horrify me. Mm. So. Let's talk about if you come here for dinner or something. You don't know this. Um, any of these wines, you can order a whole bottle of the table at a respectable price. They don't really mark it up that much because they're their trick. I don't say trick. I, I guess that's the wrong word. They're, they're catch to get people in the door yeah. is that they're a winery. So they don't it's really mark. Thing. Yeah, they don't really mark the wine up that much like other restaurants would. So you can get a bottle for the price of like two and a half glasses. You can get a bottle here. I think that, that that's... Am, am I right in that, that logic? I'm sorry, sorry. About the price of two and a half glasses at most other restaurants of wine, you can get a bottle here just right, because you guys exactly. make it. Like, if Our, I mean, even the markup in the restaurant, if you're not a wine yeah, yeah. member, is maybe eight or ten dollars as opposed to a lot of other restaurants. That are twelve, thirteen bucks for twenty. 20 yeah, like yeah. So I mean, like I'm saying, you're paying. You get four glasses of wine in a in a bottle of wine, four big glasses of wine, and you're only paying for like two and a half of those glasses of wine. For four glasses of wine so that's that's the benefit of vertical integration 
And and say again where this is actually located. So this is in Dania Point, which Dania. I said Dania Point, which it's going to be tagged where this is in, in okay. the YouTube description and all that. But it's about half a mile from the entrance to the Fort Lauderdale Port, or about a mile away from the closest entrance to the Fort Lauderdale Airport. And it's always a good idea to come like a little bit in advance for your cruise. You know, you don't want to arrive like exactly when your cruise begins. You know so when you really want to arrive? This, this is when you, you arrive a little bit early, and then as long as everything goes right, you should have spare right. time, well, and this would be a great, <coughs> great place to come. You come in the day before your, your cruise. There we go. I can't tell you why I keep having her say that yet, but uh, don't tell them, so because this is going to post before they know what that means. Um, but... Uh, what do you think of this wine? Is it try them both or just one? This one is pretty easy to drink. What is that one? That's the that's it's your the super Malbec. Tuss no, this is the super Tuscan. Have you tried the Malbec can? I'm gonna try it next. God damn. <laughs> so I really like Malbecs, which are typically from Don't Cry for Me, Argentina. Yes. You cannot sing, I am saying that. I said it's sad to hear you sing out loud. It's disrespectful. It sounds like cat nails. I kept my promise. No, Don't keep your distance. Don't cry for me, Argentina. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the point. Uh, I guess. Try that. Uh, try that. Uh, try that Malbec. I did get to see Argentina earlier this year, though. Did you see the penguins? I did. But um, did I was close? on the I was on the Norwegian Star, and the best stop for the penguins was actually the Falkland Islands. That's where they're from. It's one of the places. They're That's from. where they're known to see them. Yeah. The, 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 aren't they Falkland penguins? Like. And I saw Gentoo and king penguins in the Falkland Islands. I it saw, sounds like. I it saw sounds him. like. It sounds like you want me to be that British narrator guy. Let's talk about the sex of the penguins. Do you know how you properly, David Attenborough? For those of you who don't know, do you know how you properly sex a penguin? With DNA, with a blood sample. No! A male penguin will mount a female penguin. Sometimes you will mount a rock by mistake. And special hug? Yes, and special hugging is how you properly sex a penguin. Did you expect me to do that at David Attenborough? You've got, you've got so many accents surprisingly hidden in Welcome there. Welcome to Jurassic Park! You know, na, 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 na. go ahead. When when I actually was on that cruise, it was on the Norwegian Star, and I was on the inaugural cruise. Was David Attenborough on board? No. God but damn. they had three experts, and one of them was from the BBC and has worked with David Attenborough. And when we were waiting after our excursions to get back on the ship, we would see him in line, and we could be like, what is, what is this? And he'd be like, that is a sooty albatross. Now oh, let's talk about the boo-footed booby. Mm, yes, I have A cup boobies. You have uh, C cup boobies. No? Did I over or underestimate? <laughs> I do not know. Uh, about, about a C. A yes. C, C leaning on a D. C leaning on a D. But it's only a single D. It is not a double D. Therefore, the blue-footed boobies have more interesting boobies than your boobies. Great. I have three more drinks left, as Sir David Attenborough, oh, and great. you have two more drinks left. And then we shall go somewhere else that we will not talk about in this video. Oh, oh my God. That was pretty funny. <laughs> David Attenborough has now wiped the lipstick off of the lady. This was called a special penguin hug. And that is how penguins mate. All right, so next up we've got a winter red, which is the uh, red equivalent of winter white. And uh, you can get this either cold or hot. So you can have it like a hot toddy. I, you like red, right? I do. This is probably going to be your favorite of the red wines. I am talking loud because someone wants to kill me softly with copyright. <laughs> this song. They were strumming their were strumming with your fingers. What do you think of that one? I this I'm going to talk. This is very good, and it has clove, red plum, orange peel, cinnamon, and red apple. And the, it's best paired with Christmas cookies. You know what's missing, though, right? 
think it needs some leather. Oh, no. this again. <laughs> no. I'll go ahead and yeah. uh, give you a review on yours. You got the... Uh, okay. You have the winter white, maybe? <laughs> that doesn't look very white. I forget what I am up to. Just drink it. Okay. I think you got cranberry. This is red wine. I think it's the cranberry. So it happens after wine ah, six or seven. Yes. Cranberry, pomegranate, orange mandarin, gingerbread, and red cherry. And the best pairing is with a turkey dinner. A miscellaneous turkey dinner. I mean, you can say Thanksgiving. You just can't say Super Bowl. It says turkey dinner. And the other one says Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. You're right. You're right. You know, I used to date Wait, a guy. Test of these are the same. Just taste this one. Because I don't think they are. That is something different. This is the cranberry. And that is very cranberry. I mean, so yours is not cranberry. I'm not yes. sure what you're drinking. I think Kirsten is drinking a bonus wine. No, I think it's, no, the it's not red? the cranberry. Is it the red? No. Perhaps? We saw it come out of somewhere. We saw it come out of some hole somewhere. It came out of somewhere. Uh, you're talking about an ex-boyfriend? Yes. He used to say, because um, you were talking about sports ball, the Super Bowl, and he... Um, <laughs> Super Bowl? And he was Jewish, and he would never watch it, but for totally random reasons, and people would be like, are you watching the Super Bowl? And he'd be like, no, I'm Jewish. And it would be like, what? <laughs> No, I'm Just Jewish. to mess with people, to be like, oh my god, I didn't know. I didn't know you were Jewish. Well, l'chaim to him. We have no clue what you're drinking, but it's Mazel wine. Tov. It's wine and it's good, right? Now, I have a very interesting wine for us to finish with. You know what that very interesting wine for us to finish with is? It's on mine. You, you don't have anything invented on it. The Vin, Vin Chocolat Noir. Do you like almonds? I do. They actually serve this two ways. If you like almonds, I'll get her to give us the one with the almonds in it. Because it's a little more nutty. She looks like she's a little more nutty than the, no, the almond one's actually better. Mm. This is my, this is the one you're going to want to take home. The Vinal Chocolate Noir. Yes, and the flavors are going to be chocolate, red cherry, raspberry, vanilla, and blackberry. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll. I am looking forward to it. So, we'll try that, then we'll talk about the, getting some bottles of wine to go, so you know what you can now do before your cruise. We are on our last drink. Kirsten uh, actually switched it out for their sparkling Moscato. Go ahead and try that. Because some of our, there's some overlap in our drinks because we both got taste, so they'll switch out for pretty much anything they got here. Fan? Not fan? It, 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 it feels like it's sparkling more than what it looked like, but I like it. You like it? Okay. It's a Moscato. Put that down. I want you to taste their most unique year-round drink here. I like the Christmas, the winter white, and the Thanksgiving thankful crap. This is Vinal Chocolate Noir. Now, they have it available both with nuts and without nuts because some people have nut allergy. Uh, I asked you if you like almonds. This is the almond <coughs> Vienna Chocolate Noir. By default, they're gonna serve it without nuts, just in case the allergy exists. Okay, here's what I want you to do. There's a trick to this drink, that usually when it's not that busy, they'll tell you. I want you to smell it first. Then what I want you to do, I want you to sip it. And you're gonna get, and then I want you to breathe back out after you drink it, and you get a completely different flavor profile. Hmm. Breathe out through your nose. And your... this one is supposed to be chocolate, red cherry, raspberry, vanilla, and blackberry. And it's supposed to pair with a roaring fire and a good book. Delicious. Oh, I heard the books have a lot of fiber in them. I can totally smell the chocolate and cherry in here. What do you think? This is the most chocolatey wine I have ever had. This is good. This is special. This is unique. What the hell did I say 45 seconds ago? No. And then we also have to go with that chocolate truffle. Now, if you do get the Lux, the truffles included. If you just get these normal ones, then the truffle is like a dollar or two extra. But I mean, that is a thick truffle. Some would call it girthy. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of wine before I have the truffles in there. Mm. So, here's the problem. Here's where we're at now. Kirsten 
has to pick two bottles of wine for us to take on our cruise. We're leaving uh, tomorrow on the Celebrity Reflection, and Kirsten's going to pick out two bottles of wine to take on the cruise because we bring one bottle of wine per adult. So here's the question, Kirsten. Which two are you going with? I will, I will pick the Vine Chocolate Noir that I yes, just tried and the Winter White because it tastes like Christmas in a white wine. So I'm going to show you how they package them up so you can bring them on your cruise and everything like that. But we're going to ring out here and then we'll close everything up outside. And that there does it from Cooper's Hawk Winery. We've got our two bottles of wine. Now we already have the drink package on this cruise, but you know, you meet people, you take it back to the cabin. You turn the pineapple upside down. Well, what? <laughs> Take it back to the cabin, turn the pineapple upside down. It's always good to have a few bottles of wine laying around. We got the uh, chocolate almond and we got some uh, winter white uh, to not to be confused with Walter White. Uh, but what do you think, Kirsten? It's a good place to stop by. It's a pretty good place, yeah. It's right outside of the cruise store. It's literally, if you want to talk right between the Fort Lauderdale Airport where we're headed, where well, we came from, Kirsten came from at least, and uh, the cruise port, um, it's right in between. And it's a great place to go. Before your cruise. This is Richard and Kirsten, and Kirsten. For Before Your Cruise by No Pants Profits. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, the only thing you're left to lose is your shirt. Your but shirt. there's also some cool places you could go. Before your cruise. All right, bye.